I finally got. I finally got it. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh. Comprehensive review of the Joby 3K Gorillapod. So this is exactly what I wanted. Maybe almost a little too much. Is that I wanted one of these Gorillapods that weren't super flimsy. That oh wow, actually stayed their shape and wouldn't bend on me like so. So I could replace this piece of crap I'm using now. It's not that bad actually. It's just, it's a fixed tripod. You'll see it when I swap out uh, tripods here in a minute. But what I like about this, and I actually just found out this one has a two, it's just really hidden, uh, is this the leveler. This, this is nice because the way the tripod works that I'm on right now is it only, it sits like this, okay? And there's only like a, uh, like a knob right here so it can go like this and then you can turn it right well because it's such cheap plastic is it doesn't sit at a total 90 degree angle so it sits just up a little bit so no matter which way I turn it there's always this sort of angle there and I never knew if my videos were actually uh, completely vertical so what's nice about this is that well, you can bend it any which way you want, as I'm trying to do here. Um, and you can tell, again, because it has the leveler. Let's see if I can adjust this here. So you can see here, so when I turn it or move it, I can try and find that happy medium. Please join me on the floor here while I do this demonstration. So you can see here, I'm trying to level out the legs here. And these are exceptionally, I mean, this is just with my finger and I'm, I'm pushing pretty good. And you can see it's it's keeping its shape fairly well. There's so many moving, moving parts for this that you could, you could easily maneuver this any which way. Okay, so I've never actually owned one of these before, but I've heard exceptional reviews about them. And what's nice is if I could, this piece comes off. Okay, I only know this because this uh, is very similar to the GoPro mount that I have. So, you can see here it just clips right in. Push this button right here. Push that in, this pops out. Okay, so you can slip in anything else over there, like if you have a GoPro or anything of that nature. Pop that back in. You see how that just went loose? This thing here, I'm turning it, if you're looking at it, what would that be, to the left or the right? Lefty loosey, righty tighty, right? So you turn it left, look how loose it is, okay? This thing, even though I just loosened it all the way, yep, it's not going anymore. Well, that comes off obviously, but this ball, this ball piece right here, not coming off. Look at that. That's the kind of strength I needed because I just couldn't get any sort of quality with anything else. Okay. Now the piece that my phone is uh, holding on, Joby actually has an attachment you can buy with it. So you can have this brand and it actually looks really nice. Like if I had extra money, I, I bought this with a gift card that I got from Christmas. So I wasn't really going to spend extra money if I didn't need to, because this is a bigger bigger screw. I don't know if the camera's going to get that or not, because I'm running on an iPhone X. There's that. Where does it advertise? It advertises two different connections. So this is a 3 8 inch connection. That's this bigger one right here on this mount. And there's a uh, 1 4 connection. Okay, that's on this piece right here. So you can see here, I have it loosened right now. It's not actually that loose right there. So that's what my phone is on right now. That's the mount that's going to go on here. So then I could actually use this for my phone or a DSLR camera uh, as it advertises on the box here. Okay. This is the kind of strength I was looking for. I had a bendy tripod before and it was so loose. It was ridiculous. Okay. So I'm very excited to have one of these. Thanks Jeff. Shout out to my brother Jeff for getting me the uh, for getting me the Best Buy gift cards. So this is also really nice right here because this is a key feature that would, is going to sell you if you want one of these. It holds up to 6.6 .6 pounds. Okay, if you're using a DSLR camera like this, this big guy right here, it's definitely gonna have some weight to it and you're gonna want something more strong like how this is, okay? 
These legs are actually exceptionally strong. I'm so surprised at how hard these are to move, but that's a good thing. So it may it kind of suck trying to find the right kind of leg that you want this thing to sit on because there's so many moving parts. But once you get it and you level it up with this thing right here, great product. Okay, so to tighten it, okay, we're just gonna righty tighty, okay? So see, as I'm moving it more, less play, now I got it really tight, really tight. Okay, so this thing ain't moving. This is just as stiff as these legs now. So I'm gonna go ahead and transfer my iPhone to uh, this mount here, and I'm gonna show you what I was working with before and why I switched over. So you see here, I was talking about this piece. This is the mount that is screwed underneath here with this piece. So I'm just gonna take this off and put it on the smaller piece, that's what the screw was. And then this, you can see there, screws onto this piece and then you have your whole setup so let me do that real quick all right so i'm back here on my desk and i was kind of adjusting the phone so that it's facing me obviously and so it was lining up uh within the measuring tool here so you can see this one has it not as predominant i think the, there's too much light and it's messing with it now but you can see there's still a ruler there kind of has this uh, handle swivel thing like i said this wasn't a bad piece of equipment i just need the mobility that the joby has and so this one also has, what was this, an Ecubar? I think it was like some off-brand I bought on Amazon, but I'm still gonna keep this, I'm still gonna use it. It has the kind of, what do you call these, like the clips here. So you could, this is easily adjustable. I mean, I think this thing goes up to like four feet. Okay, you can see there's three layers here. So like I said, this wasn't bad. If you want something fixed and you're gonna be pointing and shooting at one thing that's not really moving, or it's like, if you don't need it to attach anything, obviously like I can't, you know, I, I don't get much mobility with this, but this is why I wanted the Joby, because I have the flexibility, it can grab onto stuff and get maybe in an angle where like this thing couldn't. You know, like maybe I'd have to take this to a pole and then like tape it there so then I can get uh, a grippy view that I can now get with the Joby, except I know it'll be secure instead of kind of rigging this to something and having it work that way. Okay, so let me see if I can get it here. Now I'm holding this straight, believe it or not. See how this thing kind of bends up a little bit? So it's never at a perfect 90 degree angle. And like my videos were kind of off tilt a little bit. And it was hard for like, as I'm moving this around, this, you know, I, you can adjust this, but it, it never goes fully at a square. And even if you think you got it and you tightened it, I, as I'm tightening it, it's, it's opening up slowly but anyway the review isn't about this okay this is just gonna be a nice backup but I bought the Joby 3k so that it could replace this overall I think this is gonna be an excellent product I can't wait to use this and shoot more videos with this and and really get outside in a real interesting situation or scenario where I'd have to actually use the uh, bendiness of the tripod so here's what the instructions look like this is these are my favorite kind of instructions any company that happens to watch this video and they're thinking, how can we make our instructions more efficient? This is what I like right here. Pictures and arrows, pictures and arrows. It doesn't even have to be colored pictures. And so real quick, before I wrap up this video, I noticed this thing as well, is that when I was screwing this on, I thought, why does this, keep, it just keeps going around in circles and it wasn't really ever tightening. So I kind of did some more investigating here. And like I said, if you push this button, this loosens it up and this piece pops out. Well, underneath you see this flat head like screw. You can see here, this is kind of loose, right? And you hear it kind of jiggling. If you want to take your nail or something, or even if you just want to apply pressure pushing at the bottom of that, you just turn this to the right a little bit. It got way tighter, so now there's no play. And then you can pop this back on, and there you go. Perfect. Easily adjustable. Now I can shoot like the pros. Okay guys, that is the vlog. I don't know why I chose my bathroom for this, but you can see here, see this is a better angle. This is so much better. I prefer this Joby 3K over this style, okay? This is still nice for certain things if I'm gonna be shooting something that I know is gonna be static and staying there, but this is nice for mobile. I, I feel like I have more control over this. This is easily adjustable. I have it kind of contoured so that it fits in my hand, but then I could easily just, even though the legs are pretty stiff, I could just pop these things out. and set it up and use it like this. This is perfect. Hey, thank you guys for watching. If this review helped or if you have any other questions, let me know. I'll dig in, do some further research. I know there's 
uh, I have the 3K, I think there's also a 4K and a 5K. And what that just means is like, when I looked on the website, I'm gonna link it down in the description below and where you can buy this on Amazon. But the 3K is like 3,000 grams. So this can hold up to 6.6 .6 pounds, hence the Gorilla Pod 3K, holding up to 6.6 .6 pounds per the information on the box here. Thank you guys, I'll see you in the next video. And if you're not following me, go ahead and hit subscribe. I'll put it, look over here somewhere. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in the video, okay? Here or there. All right, thank you guys.